Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, that's so pretty. All right, my friends, welcome back. This is a full install test of the latest Lubuntu, and I have a confession to make. I had deleted the previous Lubuntu because I thought the Lubuntu team was going to switch over to Wayland. Ugh. And they are not, at least not this year, maybe next year. So if you do not want to use Wayland, don't like Wayland, doesn't work for you, you can still use Lubuntu with the X11 display server. And I have confirmed that because I can install simple screen recorder, which only works under X11. So this is a full install test on an older machine, about 12 years old on an old gateway. All right, let's take a look at this. Lubuntu is very lightweight and this is a possible replacement for your Windows 10 if you don't need Windows anymore or if your machine does not have the requirements to upgrade to Windows 11. All right, so I moved the panel from the bottom to the top. All right, we'll go through this real quick. Accessories, some of these applications I will not use like Redshift. Yeah, I probably won't use that. Education and Science, Calculate Games, not much there. Graphics, uh, LibreOffice is installed by default, by the way. Internet, I did install Brave. And I'll probably install Chrome. The LibreOffice Suite is installed by default. Sound and video. I installed Audacious, OBS Studio, Rhythmbox, Simple Screen Recorder. VLC is installed by default as well. It should be. Audacious is a very lightweight music player. Yeah, it's just awesome. It always works. And, you know, again, it's super lightweight. Uh, let's see here. We'll go to System Tools. Let's go to... Oh, by the way, Discover is where you would go to uh, install, search and install applications. You don't have to use the menu. You can You, I mean, you, you don't have to use the terminal, rather. You can use the terminal. Right-click, open the terminal. Now, I just had 100 Windows users go, ah, the terminal, no, relax. You don't have to use the terminal in some Linux-based systems to install software. It's not that hard. But in this situation, you would use something called Discover Software Center to search and install applications. Oh, there was an issue with the update or installation process. Uh-oh. Maybe I do have to check for the updates. I'm not sure. But let's continue. Yeah, we do have some updates here. So maybe that'll fix the problem. I don't know. But for this, let's say I wanted to install something from multimedia category and here you can search here i have audacious installed if i wanted to delete this i can click the trash icon here to remove and other goodies here i actually like the strawberry music player so for example to install that click install right there and of course your password you use to install lubuntu And as you can see, it is installing. You can continue searching, browsing as it is installing. Okay, I think we're good. Go to Sound and Videos, Strawberry. Okay, so Strawberry is a free and open source software. If you like it, blah, blah, blah. Don't show this again. Okay, and then you can add your collection later. And notice there's a menu here at the top right to stop and play and so on. Very nice. Okay, well, I think you get the idea with this. Let's click the X. And simple screen recorder, still working. Very good. Go back to the menu. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, anything else here? I did install also Rhythmbox. And like I said, VLC should be the mandatory media player for both Linux and Windows. System tools. Uh, let's go to HTOP. And we're using about 1.14 gigs of RAM running this. That is about half of what Ubuntu would use. And it's about half of what Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop would use. So this is definitely uh, lightweight. LXQT settings. You would go here to adjust your monitor resolution. Uh, this monitor is capable of 4K, but it, it slows down my system. So I have it down to 1920 by 1080. And if I wanted this to run a little bit smoother, I can even go to oh, probably 1360 by 768. 
But for this, I think I'll leave this the way it is. All right, back to the menu. Uh, appearance, lots of options here to choose from. I went to fonts, cranked up the point size, the font size a little bit, but we have widget style, icon theme, LXQT theme. I'll just leave this the way it is. Fonts, cursor, GTK style, and a reset, reset button there if you make a mistake with something. All right, preferences, uh, X screensaver settings. Here you can adjust your screensaver settings. We got flying toasters, fuzzy flares, yeah, flip flops. Okay, uh, eruption. Is that a volcano? Okay, and you can preview that. Okay, escape. Some advanced stuff here I don't mess with. And of course, here at the bottom about LXQT, desktop environment, super fast. And from here we can go to the configuration center, similar to control panel in Windows. And this will just be your leave, power off, reboot, and so on. I'll just click cancel. You can right click on a panel, configure the panel, add another panel. I'll leave that the way it is. We got styling and widgets. On the desktop, you can add shortcuts. Go to desktop preferences. Um, if you go to advanced, we can add network. Lubuntu manual, click apply. We have the shortcuts here, but I don't really need these two. So I'll just uncheck that. Click apply, okay. Very simple, very fast, very lightweight. Again, this is one of those few Linux distributions where you will not be spending too much time in the terminal. So there you have it. Lubuntu, the latest one, without Wayland display. Thank you. X11 works perfectly fine just the way I want it. Here we have the file manager. Again, this is designed for speed. Just no eye candy, no fancy graphics, just for pure speed. If you have a machine with only four gigs of RAM, this is the one to go with. Somebody uh, had questions about uh, installing Zorn OS, which looks great, on an older MacBook with only four gigs of RAM. The performance was lagging. Yeah, with only four gigs, running four gigs of RAM with the GNOME desktop environment, in my opinion, is not going to cut it. You need at least eight gigs. If all you have is four gigs, then try this, something like this called Lubuntu. And Linux Mint Mate, XFCE, maybe another option for you.